Hi, this is Quad, and in this video, I want to tell you about pancreatic cell signaling. So let's start from uh, diabetes. Diabetes is a disease where cells can't use glucose. So this happens when the supply of insulin is less than the demand for it. What do I mean by this? Well, here are three cells. They need to take up glucose and use this glucose to energize themselves and live. But to take up glucose, cells need insulin. So insulin has to get into these cells to let them take up glucose. So these cells want insulin, but if there is uh, less insulin, then these cells cannot take up glucose and maybe glucose will start accumulating in the blood and uh, this patient is gonna have uh, diabetes. And there are different types of diabetes, but for the type 1 diabetes, it's a problem in pancreas. And there are cells called islet cells in the pancreas that make insulin. But if they're broken, then the supply of insulin is going to go down. And these cells really, really want insulin, but there's no insulin. And these cells will starve. Okay, so let's talk about the pancreatic cells and islet cells. We actually don't know the stem cell origin of islet cells. Furthermore, if you look at pancreas, so here is my ugly pancreas drawing, it's hard to tell where the islet cells are located. So it's a mysterious organ. Well, it's not mysterious, but it's not easy to work with. Um, but we do know that to make this organ, pancreas, you have to have working of ectoderm-derived cells and surrounding mesoderm derived cells and there's going to be communication between these two uh, cell types the ectoderm cells will have receptors called FGFR something growth factor receptor and then the mesoderm derived cells will secrete a bunch of uh, ligands that are the FGF so ligand will bind to the receptor and the receptor is going to activate these cells to move and change its shape etc and this communication is going to eventually make this uh, pancreatic organ. And in this process, you have to have working PDX1 transcription factor protein in these cells because this is the master regulator of pancreatic development. So um, we don't know too much about this process, but we know a few ways to help people who cannot make uh, enough insulin basically they have not so good pancreas well insulin is not made by the entire pancreas right it's made by only the islet cells so you just have to be able to fix their islet cells so look, here are some ways to do that first maybe a patient pancreas has few working islet cells right if that's the case you take these islet cells out put it on a dish expand and then put it back in. By the way, when you add a new islet cell to this patient, you don't have to add it on top of the patient's pancreas. You can add it to their uh, elbows, bones, wherever. As long as this islet cell can make insulin and dump it into the bloodstream, you're good to go because these cells will eventually get that insulin. And the next way of uh, fixing islet cell problem is using stem cell. Induced pluripotent stem cell coming from a patient's fibroblast and you add the transcription factors and de-differentiate this into a stem cell. And we know how to make pancreas, so maybe we can make some new pancreas and take out the islet cells and then put it back into the patient. Again, you can put it wherever uh, you want. Um, and there's another way of fixing this patient's insulin problem. We can have a mice and uh, let's get rid of this mice's PDX1. So this mice is PDX1 double negative and Let's make these mice have babies and let this baby grow. And in this growth process, you can add human pancreas progenitor things. So this mice baby will eventually become an adult mice. But within this mice is not mice pancreas, but human pancreas. Basically, you turn this mice into a human pancreas host. And this human pancreas will make some islet cells and you can take out these islet cells and put it back into the patient. And this is still experimental, but uh, in theory, 
this should work. And people have done this with uh, not human mice, but they have done it with uh, rat pancreas grown in mice and putting back in of this grown islet cells to the rat to rescue the insulin making process. So in summary, pancreas is made with ectoderm methoderm and in this development, FGF ligands talk to the FGFR receptors and this communication will eventually form into this pancreatic organ. Somewhere on this organ, uh, hard to see, there are islet cells and these islet cells make insulin and insulin is needed for your cells to metabolize glucose. Uh, oh, one more thing. If you uh, take out all these cells and basically disperse it, and then if you now transfer this broken individual cells that's not attached to each other to a new system, it turns out that the pancreas cells or islet cells can reform uh, the original structure. It's kind of wild because they know how they were aligned. That's kind of cool. But anyways, uh, there are a few ways to fix this insulin problem. You can use stem cell to make islet cells. You can uh, take out some of the leftover islet cells of the patient and then put it back in. Or you can grow human islet cells in non-human system like mice and then put that final product back into the patient.